What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Paris, and I'm back with another video. Okay, y'all. So today is Vlogmas Day 6. And today is going to be a girl talk, basically. Like, I'm going to just be telling y'all how I deal with things as a girl. Basically. So that's why it's... That's why it's called girl talk. Like I'm just be telling y'all things how I deal with stuff and how ways of not to deal with it or to avoid it or whatever. And yeah. So the first thing is I'm gonna talk about friends, having homeboys as friends. To be honest, I'll tell y'all to have homeboys as friends before you have a homegirl as friend. Cause homegirls are slimy. Or boys are too, but Homegirls are petty and everything else in addition that. I mean, it's some boys that is too, and I think it's some girl, it's some girls that's probably cool. Well, it is some girls that's cool, and it's some boys that's cool. But you gotta pick the right people. You gotta find, I don't know why Nicholas keep playing around, you gotta find the right people. You gotta pick the right people. And you'll be good. How I deal with I'm gonna tell y'all how I deal with what I'm gonna tell y'all first. Hmm, let me think. Yeah, I said friends. How I deal with friends is God not put I'm gonna just say this. God not put so many people in my life, like people that I didn't need in my life. He put me in I think he just put me in my life, put them in my life to show me something and to show me that's not really what I wanna do. That's not what I wanna surround myself with. So he put certain people in my life to show me that and I feel like I learned from that like with certain people like girls who actually girls who are bops and who are not on my level they're past my level like past my level meaning they're, they're not on my level like they're probably got stuff to do with the system and just all kind of stuff deal with different boys have sex with different boys, all kind of just, just stuff that I just didn't need to be around. Like, bad examples. Talking to different boys. Thinking it's cool. Think you playing the boy. You kind of playing them, but you're talking to other people and you actually having sex with other people and you probably having sex with him too. So you really not playing him. You playing with yourself. If you ask me, you're playing with yourself. You're, you're not playing with him. You're playing with yourself. You just about me. But separate myself from me. But yeah, God and I put people in my life so he could show me that that's not really what I want to do. And I put boys in my life to show me that boys are nothing. They're no good. You might find one good boy, but I don't know. He gets... He becomes... I probably say nonchalant after a while and just that becomes a little much and you have to keep texting and I don't know y'all but like I said I feel like I put people in my life certain people in my life just to show me a lesson to show me that certain people that I call my friends are not my friends just to show me that people are really not real for real just showing people are slimy, they're grimy, they're a lot of backstabbers. It's just showing me a lot of stuff like people are backdoor you in a quick love. It's not that fast. Quick. Like literally. And I feel like I learned from my mistakes. Like it's one mistake I learned from the most. Like never do that again. I wish I never did it actually. Never. I might even get on YouTube and tell y'all what I did, but people know. Some people know, and the ones who don't know, they don't know. But that was a bit much. I know that much. It wasn't. It wasn't worth it at all. But tell y'all, I'm like, it's a lot of backstabbers in this world. It's a lot of slimy people. A lot of people who don't mess with you for real. And a lot of people who do stuff for you when you don't need, you need it, but you don't need it. But it's something that you need important. Like, isn't, how should I say it? Like, 
something you need them to do for you that yeah, they can hold against you that's what that's what it is something that they could do for you but they could hold it against you like you let somebody go to your house if something happened in your house or something like if them if they got kicked out say for example they got kicked out or something and somebody find out well not somebody find out they got kicked out so you let them come to your house or your mama let them come to your house whatever come to her house or whatever and now it's just i'm gonna hold it against you now so if you fall out i'm gonna say this matter of fact this is my situation that's that's the situation i've just been in actually that's why i'm saying it but i just say it for example but yeah like yeah if you come to the house whatever but it's not like that i needed to go in the house i wanted to go in the house like i could have just stayed and waited I could have stayed on the porch and waited until I came back me. But yeah. There's neither here nor there. But like I said, I feel like God put a lot of people in my life for reasons. And on how I should move a lot of things. How I should act. How I should just go like that. I feel like I'm built up on myself sometimes, actually. I mean, I kind of want a little friend or whatever. But somehow I actually do better for myself. Like, I love people myself. I don't have to be in no drama, no, no unnecessary drama. Nobody has to say nothing to me. I don't have to say nothing to nobody. Like, if nobody say nothing to me, I won't say nothing to them. Really, really. But some people, like, if I feel like you look some type of way, like, if you just, if I see you in somebody's face and then I see you in that person's face, I'm going to ask you why do you look. Yeah. But it's certain stuff that I don't even too much care about. Like, I want to put myself in drama. Like, let y'all, like, yeah, I might be all over the place or whatever. I'll probably be a little mixed up on what I'm talking about, but I'm just talking. I'm really just talking about a lot of the, a lot of stuff, really. I'm just talking. So, if I mix you up or get you confused, with my bad. But sure, like, I just put a lot of people in my life that I need to learn this and from. And it just made me realize that I don't need y'all for real. I don't need friends. I have siblings. Even though they get on my last nerves. I have you know they're younger than me. They got the same age. I have siblings. So therefore I don't really need friends. Friends is an option. Friends is a choice that I choose. You know? So I want somebody to try to sit here and play, try to play in my face or just anything. Matter of fact, I'm going to use this for example. Like my sisters, they had some little situation going on. Imagine my sisters about the same age, but one of them about the same age. One of them about the same age right now because I worked in a few months, but they just a few months. None of them just a few months older than Soraji was. Cool. So, I guess I might even go say what the to did it, but one of them talked to somebody that the other one talked to. Like, a while ago, even though they don't claim each other or nothing, but she's wrong both, both of them was wrong in the situation though both of them was wrong in the situation and she's wrong for talking to the person and the other one is wrong for being with the home girl sitting up in the home girl face talking about it the home girl really the one who showed my sister the video i'm pretty sure i believe and because she was in the little group chat with it, it just charged a bit much going on i'm a little sleepy y'all that's why i was probably doing that but yeah but yeah, like I was saying, she went with her homegirls. Matter of fact, this sister, she talked to her. She talked to somebody that the other sister talked to, and she didn't really. The other sister really didn't go out with that person for real because they didn't claim each other, but they had something going on, you know? And. And, um. I had to look at her name real quick. Cause I ain't know who that was, but that was my cousin. Take me on Instagram. But yeah, y'all. It was something. What last thing I don't even remember. <laughs> I just got some girl. But yeah. She did that and then the other sister who went with the homegirl started talking about this. The homegirl recorded a video and said, You make sure to send them more in it. She said, I hi, because she's going to mess with your mother, that's what do the rule. 
and she was like, you was with, 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 with this boy and the third, and it was just, you used to mess with the boy that I used to talk to with him, basically something like that. And like I said, what my sister was wrong, because for one, the other sister, she never even too much talked to the way, she never even thought of him on level, None of them levels. The other sister should have never even been with no friend. That's her so-called homegirl. Like, as I think about it, if that was your actual, like I told you, if that was your actual homegirl, she would have never, ever, ever recorded that or never even started to record that and saying that. She would have just did a quick look. If she wanted to post it, she would have did it. I would have did a quick little post and she would have posted it. She would have never, ever, 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 ever got on the internet and said, oh, you know, my sister's no more do you. Oh, did that in the third. Like, that's messy, like. I told my both of my sisters. I told both of them actually. I told both of them. Both of them. I called one of them. And I said the other one. And I told them that it was dead wrong. They were dead wrong. Dead wrong. Both of them was dead wrong. Neither one of them was right in the situation. Then they was in the Instagram notes arguing with each other. Then the other one. Then they just had so much going on. But loyalty and a relationship with anybody, friends, family, thing is very important. You gotta have trust and loyalty. That's what you need. Trust and loyalty. That will get you a lot of things you for life. A lot of relationships last longer if they have. If they have trust and loyalty towards each other. Like anybody. I don't even tell what I'm saying. Anybody. Relationships last longer. Longer. If loyalty and trust was just easy since it's hard for people in this generation it's so hard people are like i don't know i'm just now i'm talking about me now y'all let me just tell y'all every time i change the subject i'm gonna tell y'all what i'm talking about okay because i'm gonna just keep changing the subject and keep changing the subject because i'm just talking because <laughs> it's hold on the noise but i am back but um talk about me now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was talking about me. Oh, yeah. I am a very clingy person. So, in a relationship, I feel like I want all your attention. It don't matter what you're doing. I don't know why, but it's just something. Like, I noticed that yesterday that I am very selfish in a relationship. Because I feel like not all your attention, but, like, most of your attention. Like, I want me, like, at certain times of night, I just want it just to be me. It just to be about me. I want to have your undivided attention and not you on a game or you doing something else or just, ew, I don't know. Like, I'm just clean, you know, I hate that for me. I have to get out of that way. I have to get out of that habit because not people want to be bothered all day, that day. Not people want to be clingy. Like, not people want to just be talking to you all day. Like, people, I think people say they get boring when they just talk to that one person all day. But if we're talking or if we're dating, then I feel like it shouldn't matter. But that's just me and that's just me and like it's my problem in life. I feel like I, feel like I have to have all your attention, your undivided attention at that. And I don't know why I keep feeling like I'm hearing stuff in this little squeaky noisy house. It's the washing machine making a little drop noise. <laughs> yeah, it's the washing machine making a little noise. Then it sounds like stuff falling. I don't know what's going on. I uh, maybe need to go to sleep. And then I'm all over the place in this video. Y'all, my bad. I apologize for real. Because I should have had this planned out. But I'm just really talking. So it's like, it shouldn't matter what I'm talking about. Just listen. Because <laughs> I'm venting at this point. Come vent with me today. As well, but y'all, what am I talking about? Yeah, I'm just clean pushes in the third. I need to get on that habit. That's all I'm saying. You got that. Friends, done. What's something else that I want to talk about on here? Friends, relationship. I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you.